Hello everyone, um, this is a super rapid, it's going to be uncut video. Um, last week I filmed a little video on um, telling more about my endometriosis story um, and I meant to upload it, but uh, a huge thing happened today. So I got a call this afternoon as I sat in my train back from uni um, in two weeks. I am getting my surgery. In two weeks, I am getting my surgery. Um, I'm very baffled. I'm very happy. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Uh, I have so many other things happening in my personal life besides um, uni work and then every now and then a YouTube video, of course, um, like many responsibilities. And when I got the call, the first thing I did was check my schedule and then I thought to myself, you know what, Sarah, you've waited long enough for this. Um, it's time to go. So how has it been for me since the video? Um, I think that I filmed it two years ago um, after I got my IUD placed as well. Um, yeah, it did not work at all. Um, I guess when it comes to like ending my cyclus and not, <laughs> not <laughs> freaking... <laughs> getting my period anymore that did its job <laughs> but um uh, it seems like my body is very confused um and i'm still hurt every single day getting lots of painful cramps uh like i used to before sometimes even worse like before um so that did not help so over the course of the last year um i think since last year december uh no last year october i think so exa almost exactly a year ago i went to the general practitioner um, and I told her that, um, yeah, things did not help, things did not get better, um, that I wanted to go to the special clinic that I found uh, that's really targeted towards endometriosis. And she was like, no, I think you should go back to the gynecologist, she can do enough. Um, and I just kind of sat down thinking to myself, like, am I really going to take this for an answer, like final answer? And I said to myself, no. So I decided to return to... Um, a different uh, general practitioner who I used to go to as a child and he which is funny because it's a man you know and sometimes you think they'll think about it a little different but he was like um okay I have not heard of this clinic before um I do hope that it's going to help you and he actually sent me a letter of referral to that clinic um so then in December I had my first appointment we got an internal ultrasound um that did not really show a lot luckily did show uh, my um my u uh, uvula what the hell <laughs> my um how do you call those like yeah you're still good your your eggs <laughs> that everything looked fine and that my uterus looked fine um but then when she felt internally she felt that there was some sort of thickening tissue uh so we planned in a uh, mri scan uh which i had in march and then the mri scan revealed that a part like if this is my uterus that a part of my intestine has grown stuck. And normally it happens in like such an area because this is like the rectal area and then this is your uterus. Normally it gets stuck like this, but with me it gets stuck in a very weird bend up top. Um, so yeah, uh, and then I also got a diagnosis that I most likely also have uh, irritable bowel syndrome. So that just made the whole story <laughs> a lot more chaotic. Um, just a lot of things just piling up on top of one another. Um, so yeah, once that got revealed, we had talks about a surgery, uh, which I got scheduled in for in June, as that was when I got my MRI results. Um, and then from June, it was pretty much just like, yeah, you're probably gonna have to wait for six months, four to six months. Um, and I actually called them back two weeks ago regarding uni, I need to know something specifically. And they said that they still could not disclose when the surgery was going to be, that I was still going to have to wait for two to four months. And then this afternoon, I suddenly got a call that in two weeks time, I am going to have my surgery. So that is, yeah, like I said, very scary, very nerve wracking, lots of feelings, lots of thoughts going through my mind. Um but all for a better cause you know like i think my life will get better and that i'll feel less pain um i'm just going to assume the worst and that my recovery is going to go very slowly that um i'll have a really hard time getting back up my feet that i'll end up losing a lot of weight because i need to get a uh, separate uh, diet etc liquid diet probably 
Um, so those are all things that have been going through my mind over the course of the past few months as well. And um, then as well, uh, there are four outcomes for the surgery. The first two are most likely, uh, which is that they'll simply just cut the intestine away from my uterus. The other most likely thing is that they'll have to use scraping so that they'll slowly need to like just cut it loose and then scrape tissue from my uterus and then scrape tissue from my intestine. And then the other two options, which are less likely, um, is that if you have my intestine, that they'll just need to cut out like a little circle area and then uh, close it shut, or that they have to remove a whole cylindrical area of my intestine and then stitch that back together, um, which of those final two outcomes will lead to me having to lie there with a stoma. Um, that's also what it's called in English, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and yeah, that will be scary, but the thing is that they cannot tell for sh certain, <laughs> for sure, for certain, um, because they are only able to see the severity of uh, how heavy the surgery has to be be once they actually um open up my stomach and see what everything looks like um so yeah um that's all quite scary um i informed all my tutors all my lecturers i had i had one and one talks with them and i was like yeah sir so uh, i'm getting a surgery soon um it, it might just be in december as well and i assumed i had to wait that long because the waiting list with covid have gotten so long um so yeah they were like uh yeah just let us know everything and uh, we'll be able to help you out um it's, it's kind of frustrating because uh, my university has opened uh, or like has limited studying to the way it was before so they have ended all forms of um of online teaching methods and uh, stuff so that's going to be quite rough um for my language course especially luckily since uh, like my the language course that i've chosen is korean so um like within my area studies which is east asia um, and I have luckily I have a lot of Korean friends, so I'm able to practice with them on the daily. Um, however, uh, I have a lot of in-class quizzes, which I'm going to miss out on. So that's all going to suck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's uh, just very nice to know that finally, after years of waiting, after years of walking around with pain, that I convinced my general practitioner that I did want to go to this clinic and that eventually... I was right and that I do have to get a surgery. Um, yeah, so um, I, yeah, the message that I just hope to spread with this is always follow your feeling. And even if the doctors deny you help, I know that in some countries, in some cases that it's really hard to do so. But really, if you pay money for your health insurance and you have, they tell you that you don't have a say in where you can go um where you can get your aid please make sure that you do really stand behind yourself stand strong and that you do um yeah uh stand up for what you know is best for you because as you can see in my case as well i did and i'm finally getting a surgery now uh, because yeah it it is a severe issue so um once the surgery will be there i will try to do a little vlog it's something i've contemplated about like do i want to share that openly but i think that showing the whole process and everything of my recovery um is also nice for the people that do end up watching the video that do suffer from endometriosis themselves since i have a lot of questions when it comes to recovery and maybe for some people it can provide a lot of in uh insight and um information that they do need to get ready for theirs and of course it does differ per person so that's why i think that sharing my journey um uh, is yeah part of the i want to say experience but it is yeah it is quite an experience so uh, i hope that there are people who um, will find help in uh, what i'm gonna post but all that in two weeks um i just wanted to do this quick update um i'm gonna try to shoot another video in the meantime uh because because yeah, we all know that gaming videos are more fun, but um, I do wanna thank you guys for at least tuning into this video and having stuck till the end. Um, I wish you well. Um, yeah, you'll see more from me soon. Um, 
but all I just want to do is I want to do gaming videos, guys. Um, which, fuck yeah, I might just film run right now. I literally just wanted to start up a new game. So uh, um, I'm going to film a video now. And if you're going to wonder, like, oh my god, why is she wearing the same t-shirt? It's because I'm going to hop back into a video right, right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you'll stay tuned to follow my journey. And of course, my gaming videos, because those are way more fun. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much. And I wish you a beautiful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>